Hi everyone and happy Wednesday. So I've seen a coloring space tag flo floating around and I realized I hadn't um, recently done a coloring area video so um, <laughs> I've been trying to do some cleaning in here. I figured this would be a good time to do it while everything is somewhat organized and um, before it gets back into the disaster form. Now a couple things I will note. If you see bits and pieces of the floor and you wonder why my floor looks so terrible, it is because um, this is an older house and we had to chop up the floor to get to the foundation, do the foundation work. And we were going to replace the floor this year, but because of things, as we all know, that have happened this year, that's been kind of delayed. So I'm going to show my core coloring office work corner, and then I might show a couple extra pieces in the room at the end. So, all right, so we're going to start, well, we're going to start um, with the chair, <laughs> and then we're going to go um, around. Why is my watch buzzing okay so this is uh, a uh, gaming chair my brother had one and I really liked it uh, for the amount of hours I spend in here because I do also work in this space during the day the amount of time I work in color in this space I had to shell out for a decent chair and I got that last Christmas and that has cut down a lot on back and hip problems um, just related to sitting in the chair in an office chair like that for so long okay so on this side well I'll bounce over here real quick this is the corner I talk about with the porch um, this is an old farmhouse and we've got to get the windows replaced as well um, right now I'm just using an old pillow to prop up the window because it won't stay up on its own. They're old pulley windows, but this is their access to the porch when I'm talking about that. And then of course there's a cat bed here, a little step for Bagheera because, you know, he is a chonker. So, so we come around here, you see my little footrest there at the bottom and my other fan because it does get warm in here with that window open. So this is my main desk area um, for work and then putting my videos together. I do have a dual screen set up, but the screen on the right is my work screen and the one on my left is my personal desktop um, screen. And that's normally where I put my videos together. This is a ratty looking blanket that is a constant cat bed. Throughout the day, if I'm in here, there's a cat on here. And today, it is Sidonia modeling, modeling this behavior for you. So this is an old desk of my husband's. He got, I think he got a Goodwill or something. So it looks pretty rough. But it is very sturdy. And it gets, well, <laughs> once you, you screw things in place. And it's worked really well for me over the past few years. So starting at the top... I have colored pencils and watercolor pencils. Um, I finally got them rearranged in all their cases, and <laughs> I am finally happy with that. I've got the watercolor pencils here, which I've got the Arteza one swatched. Those are the most recent ones I got, but I've got to get the other sets swatched as well. My swatch books are up there with the lamp. We go down this way. I think in here are like... My Zayar paint markers, my glitter markers, all the unusual bits and pieces that I use to color with. Extra speaker, it doesn't work back there. So, I do have Annie here. That might seem a little bizarre to y'all, but um, usually right after the cat has passed away, I t generally, I, I get them cremated and I generally tend to keep them close for a while. So, it does help me in the long run so we've got highlighters here which i don't hardly use this is miscellaneous alcohol markers but i don't think alcohol markers are in here no looks like my leisure art 
markers are in there, which I have not used in a long time, and I need to use those. These are uh, some of my water-based markers. So, um, tan mint and like the Crayola really fine tip water-based markers are in here. Um, my leisure arts are in here, probably something else, but I'm not going to go digging. I need to change that label. And then the basic set of Crayola Super Tips I use is in that little, that little, uh, cat hair covered. <laughs> uh, if it's not cat hair covered, it's not in my house case. So here I have my ink tents in here, gelatos, um, ink tents blocks. I've got my Karen Dash. I could not think of the names of these this morning. Neo Colors. And my pencil sharpeners back there. These are all my small sets of pencils that I don't have a case for. I might. I have my Lelux pencils in here and I have my Crayola Chisables in here. If I'm going to put any more in cases, it might be those two. But for the most part, I think I'm going to just leave everything like that for now. Moving on down this way, we have my computer tower, which I, I have tried and tried and tried to get my wire situation under control, and it just does not happen, so the wires are just going to be messy, but my brother actually custom built this computer for me. Back in the day, that was like one of the things that we used to do in college, but man, that was, that was years ago, and He's younger. He seems to enjoy it more. So I was like, hey, I will pay for a custom computer. And then, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And then I have my um, marker sets. These are the main marker sets I use when I'm at my desk. So up here I've got my Cali Arts, the Arteza Everblends, the Copics, Prismas, Blix. All those will look familiar if you've seen any of my recent videos and then over here are my water-based ones so I've got my Tombos the Arteza real brush pens and then up here I've got some shuttle arts and color it ones that I don't use a ton and I need to start using more heck I need to start using my Tombos more there is that set of markers I've been looking for I bought a new set of the big marking when they were on sale on Amazon for like 10 bucks and I knew I kept them in their case and kept them somewhere and I found them finally. You can see the picture I worked on last night. Little Witches is kind of my new couch project book because it is large print and um, it would be pretty cool to have it done by the end of the month. That would give me two books completed this year but I don't know. We'll see. But I just finished that one last night. But that is my desk, and then you see the blotter there. For those of you that are curious about how I record, I have this arm connected to this webcam. It's, um, I'll put the link to it in the description. It is an older webcam, so you'll probably be better suited to get a newer one now. But I use the arm and the webcam here. Um, I do have, sorry, it was a weird noise. I do have a separate microphone I use, but here lately I've been using more of my headset just because it's more comfortable for me. Let me sit down. My sharpener. One of my problems with having my desktop here and the cat always here is it's hard to keep my keyboard and my mouse here, so I'm constantly having to move those around. Life of a cat person. And stuff I'm not really using very often right now. This is my random drawer. I have a lighter in here if I want a candle. Another mouse, erasers, my file labels, random pencils, extra markers. I think I've got a refill in here somewhere too. Just random stuff. And then here I've got my chameleon markers, the color tops, and my light, uh, daylight light that I usually use in the winter. All right, over here in the corner, we've got the same art I had last time. I need to change this up a little bit, at least the completed pictures. And then I've got my printer here. My works in progress and completed books are here. My blotter random pages that I use to put behind my pages are there on the back. There is my printer. That is 
increasingly unhappy with me. I have a feeling I will have to get a new printer soon. There's extra brushes and a palette back there behind the printer. I've got the spree markers and a set of just random like shuttle art and sharpies that I've pulled that I'm using in my books. Under that pile is a pile of kind of books I plan to work on this month. Here's my color wheel. This is the stack of Marjorie Sarnet books that we're going through this month, and I'm working my way through that. This is my little tower. I am not a pink person, but this pink was the only color they had. <laughs> this holds my Posca pens, um, water brushes, random markers and gel pens, random stuff that I may need to grab. My erasers, um, my jelly roll gel pens, which I tend to use quite a bit. So just, it's a neat, it's a neat little tool. I probably could utilize it a little better, but for right now, it's just kind of holding all the extra stuff. Then we have my massive bookcase here. <laughs> I don't think I can back up far enough. I'm hitting the desk right now. So up here is mass pile of mess. Um, I couldn't get it completely sorted. This was stuff I needed to go through later. Those of you who've been around for a while remember Herbert the cat, a dear friend of mine who I have not been able to track down in a while, um, sent me that a while back as some happy mail along with this picture. Her name is also Michelle. Um, bit worried about her. Hope she's well. Then um, a little fake flower arrangement, my my pills that I use to sort into my pill thing each week. And up there are like printouts and some big Crayola um, coloring pages that didn't quite fit like in a regular book form. So there's the bookshelf itself. Yes, I know. Now you wonder why I told myself I was stopping. I, I didn't need to buy any more coloring books for a while. <laughs> Down here on the bottom shelf, I have my extra shuttle arts and Sharpies and Bix. Um, in the black case to the left is all my fine liners and ultra fine markers. And then these two cases next to the black case are extra gel pens. Alright, so now we move over to this desk, which has a cat bed, my Crayola Super Tips, and my daily pill <laughs> thing. I've got all my scratch art stuff here. A whole bunch of junk and office supplies here. Let's see. Let me hold this camera. This first drawer is all office supplies to tape. My, my blood pressure monitors in there. Some different stuff there. Second one is chalk pastels, pan pastels, distress inks, my um, dryer, and then one of my watercolor palettes, and then some of the actual palette pans back there, and then, oh no, my watercolors are in here too. I just moved these over here. I have regular watercolor and gouache as well. And then down here are all my acrylic paints. You're probably wondering, you're probably thinking, Michelle, I've never seen you actually use acrylic paint or anything in your books. And you would be right. Because I bought all this originally for art purposes. Ugh. And I hadn't got around to using them in my stuff yet. Alright, so here's Winry. And here is our... Well, our mangled floor, but the tissue paper that they love to play in. That's why there's tissue paper on the floor. I do have extra storage under my bed. This is extra real brush pens, gel pens, um, extra colored pencils and things like that. And then over here... We have, there's washi tape, a glue gun, some more of my glitter glues here, stencils, and then wood burning stuff in the back, which 
I'd love to get back into. I just haven't had a chance. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh! I do have my... Well... I do have my china cabinet over here that has a lot of... There's my diamond painting stuff on the top. I don't touch this much. It's extra canvases and paper. And then a lot of my technique books and stuff. So, I don't touch it very much. Plus, it's in an awkward place in the room. So... And then there's some more of my pictures on the wall. And then there's my other cool picture I got online as a print. So, everything else in this room is pretty much a mess. So, that's going to conclude the coloring space, um, tag, tour, what have you. I don't think it's really changed much since last year, with the exception of the bookcase being added. Because it was originally the china cabinet there, and I just ran out of room. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you Friday with our continuation of Marjorie Sarnett's Flip Through Fridays, and talk to you soon. Uh, oh, by the way, if there is anything in this video you want more information on that I don't provide in the description, um, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see what I can dig up. All right, thanks, guys. Bye for now.